Causing a JDBC connection leak in Java is really very simple. You just have to get a connection from a connection pool, do some work with it, and then forget to close it. This will cause all sorts of problems and in the end your application will stop working. JProfiler can help you to detect and track down such JDBC connection leaks and it's really very straightforward to do that. You just have to profile your application with JProfiler start recording JDBC probe data, go to the connection leaks view and start the connection leak analysis. If no connection leaks were detected, then you get this reassuring view here that everything is fine. There is a related recording that you should probably enable when searching for JDBC connection leaks and that is CPU recording. Because in the end you want to see the stack traces where you opened the connections. I have a recording profile here that includes CPU recording and I'm going to start that now. Here I'm profiling the JDBC demo that ships with JProfiler and it has this checkbox down here that allows me to artificially leak connections. So let me enable that checkbox and start database activity. For the first 10 seconds nothing much is going to happen because that's the time that is required for a virtual connection to be considered a leak candidate. But after 10 seconds, we can see that the first leak candidates are coming in and this demo creates leak candidates at a considerable rate. So the JDBC connection pool will be exhausted quite soon. And what we're going to do now is we're going to stop JDBC recording so we can analyze the data that we've collected in detail. There's an important distinction between virtual and physical connections. Physical connections are the actual connections made by the database driver to the database. They do the actual work and they're displayed in the timeline in the connections views. Virtual connections are wrapper connections that you get from a connection pool and that you have to give back after your work unit is finished. Virtual connections are only analyzed in the connection leaks view. There are two types of leak candidates. The first one where the virtual connection has been open for a long time and the second one where the wrapper object of the virtual connection has actually been garbage collected without having been returned to the connection pool. Now that is a definite connection leak. Well the first one here could potentially be a connection that will be closed at a later point in time depending on how your application works. And in that case it would be removed from the connection leaks view. Now we can see that all entries that we have recorded here are definite connection leaks. And there's a couple of things that help us to identify the source of the connection leak and what we can do to solve the situation. In the table we can see the connection string of the associated physical connection, the thread on which the connection was created, and the class name of the wrapper object of the virtual connection. Now that is useful if you have multiple connection pools or if you're not really sure what kind of connection we're talking about here. But the most important piece of information is the stack trace that tells you where the connection was created. And with that information you can start looking at your source code and try to find out why you did not close that connection. And once you fix it you come back to JProfiler, profile again, and you get that nice green checkbox that tells you that everything is all right.